What's up Royals? I'm Kai. Hope you're doing well and this is the Enchi Cypress Pied Clutch Update. So stick around. You're watching Lucas Landon Royals. So Royals, a couple weeks ago, we cut a clutch from a Cypress Head Pied to a Enchi Pied Head Hypo. And of course, we want to see the Cypress Enchi Pied possible Head Hypo. Not like you can see the, that part anyway. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a card up in the corner above. You guys can go and check that out. And we got some what appeared to be great results out of that clutch. And today in this video, we are going to see if those results hold true. Keep in mind, this is my first season working with Cypress. So I'm not 100% sure how to identify Cypress, but I'm going to go through some of my thought process and some of the key identification points that I've noticed. So just keep that in mind. All right, enough chit chat. Let's take a look at these hatchlings. Pretty excited to show these off to you, but this is probably a bad day to do it considering, uh, it was feed day and they just ate. Uh, this is first or second meal for some of these. And you can see how beautiful and bright they are. These are both Cypress, 100% het for pied. And these are both males. So these are great ways to get your Cypress pied project going because they're not that expensive. And all you need is a male and you breed it to any of the uh, hets or visual pied girls that you have and bam, you get some, uh, you, you're gonna get some visual cypress pieds. Um, of course, you'll get more better results with a visual female. And you can see there's some differences between uh, these two. This one is more on the uh, rusty orange side and this one is more of the copper side. Um, but yeah, they're both Cypress and you can tell because, well, they don't look like a normal. So if you know what a normal looks like and you compare that to these two, uh, it's pretty obvious that these are not normal. You got the white outline within each of the alien heads. You got the, uh, the dorsal striping. You got some blushing behind the head. You see how the nose is dark right up front. And then as it gets right where the head and the neck starts, you get some blushing and you get that on both of these. So like I said, these are both males and I got pretty lucky because I actually hit four of these, two males, and now I'm gonna go and get the two females for you. And these two are the girls. Again, we got some slight color difference. Um, this time it's more subtle. The difference is a little bit more subtle, but the one on the right, this one again is slightly on the uh, rusty, tone and this one is slightly on the bronzy or copper tone but uh, still very very different from any normal and these are both females 100% have for pied you can still have that dorsal striping you can see both of them have it and the very obvious light blushing right behind the head where the neck starts it gets much darker so you can take a mental note I guess I'll show you a normal um, you can see how right up front right where the two lines meet forms a forms a v right there it's dark and then it gets lighter and lighter and right behind the neck it's very very um kind of faded out same thing with here where those two yellow lines meet on the nose that forms a v and within that v it's dark and then it gets lighter as it gets further to the back of its head so let me go ahead and get a normal out that's not part of this clutch and we can do a little comparison uh, this one right here is a normal, although it is double het for Desert Ghost and Pied. And we know that the hets sometimes influence um, the, the appearance of the animal. And here we have a very clean animal. So minimize or reducing the alien heads. I think that was what the hets did. But what I want to show you here is that the alien heads don't have that white outline like we saw with the two of the four cypress and then of course the head you can see already it's very dark right here at the back of the head you don't have that blushing it's very very dark so where that 
V meet, so you get that darkness, and then it stays pretty much dark. A little bit of fading right there in the middle, but still overall very, very dark. Uh, nothing like the four cypress that I showed you earlier. So give you a close up of that head. So this is a typical normal or classic or wild type head. Um, sometimes it's even darker, but like I said, with the, uh, the double head influence, it kind of clean things up, brighten it a little bit, but overall uh, you can see there's a huge difference between this and those four cypress that I showed you earlier that are heifer pied. All right, next we got to step up from those cypress head pies and we have a cypress pied, or at least what I think is a cypress pied. I know when I did the egg cutting, I was like, this one is a cypress pied. I know it's a cypress pied for sure. Uh, now that it's out of the egg, um, I feel like I feel like when I did the egg cutting, I probably saw it over here where it's much, much brighter. Now that it's out of the egg, we have a lot more pattern and we do see some, it's a little bit darker than the other cypress pies that I hatched earlier in the season. And I think what we'll do, what I'll do is I'll get one from the previous cypress pied clutch that I'm very positive is a cypress pied. And let me go get that one and then we'll compare with this one. I'll be right back. So this is the one that I hatched earlier in the season. You can see it's got a little bit more size to it, but in terms of color, I mean, it's a little bit brighter, a little bit, right? I mean, you can see if we turn these to the side, this one is a bit more like a faded color. This one is much more bright orange, but then you get some areas where they're very similar in terms of color and tone. But this one I definitely know to be a Cypress Pied. Um, why, why do I know or how do I know? Well, I compared this one to a normal. Um, and what we get is it's obviously much brighter, much more orange. And the lines that are in these saddles are much more crisp, these black lines. Um, the, there isn't any bleeding of the black into the orange, uh, as I'll show you with the normal. You can see even with the non-saddles where the, it's just like a wacky area, you don't get much bleeding. It's still very crisp all around. Um, where the black and the oranges or the black and browns, whatever you want to call them, meet up. Whereas this one, you have that crispness right here. You can see a lot of it. But then when you get to some of these areas, you have some of this black that kind of bleeds in. There's a little bit of a gradient between the black and the, uh, the orange or the bronzy colors. And I don't know if that's because it's just more pattern and that's why it's doing it. Uh, especially up here, you can see a little bit more clear that it's actually not as um, defined, these lines. So you get that, you get the black where it meets the dorsal, it's very crisp, but then where it, where it comes down to the sides, uh, it gets a little bit dirty looking. And like I said, the, from a color standpoint, it's very similar. They're very bright. Um, either this is a very, very bright normal pied or it's a cypress pied and i'm still leaning towards cypress pied but um it's just that these areas are a little bit confusing me could just be that you know this is only my very second cypress pied clutch so i'm going to go ahead and take these away and we'll move on to the next clutch mate i'm going to try to do this with one hand here um, this one doesn't have a ton of pattern it has these small saddles and when the saddles are smaller or shorter uh, they tend to be a little bit brighter and cleaner um, and this one has pretty much just small and short saddles so um, out of the egg again i looked at it and i thought it was a cypress um, again, hey royals sorry to interrupt this is the future me or maybe i should say the present me and I just want to talk about two things real quick. Number one, just want to drive home the fact that I am not a Cypress expert. I just want to point out a few things that I'm seeing, that I'm noticing with my Cypress pies and how I'm going about trying to identify what they are. Now that kind of leads to the second point, which is I'm kind of teetering on the side of the two pies that I showed you not being Cypress, whereas in the past video where what you were just watching 
I was actually leaning on the fact that they were Cyprus, but now I'm kind of going the other way. And the reason is this one from the most recent clutch just shed and another one from a past clutch also just shed. So now we can do another comparison with the same two animals that you just saw and you'll notice subtle differences and I'll go over what they are. So both of these have shed out recently. This is the one from the most recent clutch. This is the one from a uh, earlier clutch. And you can see if this one cooperates. Come on, I just do this. You can see that there is a slight difference now in color, right? The smaller one is a little bit darker, whereas this one, even though it's a little bit older, has actually maintained its color a little bit better. So that's why I'm kind of leaning towards the fact that this, the one from this clutch, or the two from this clutch that I've showed you already, may not be cypress pied. I'm kind of leaning towards not being cypress pied, whereas when I originally made that video, I was leaning towards um, them being cypress pieds. So you can see again the difference. Let me try to get them together for you. The colors are close. They are close. But I think that's also because my pies tend to have more orange in them anyway. So this one is nice and bright and it has those crisp black lines like I said. But the fact that it's a little bit darker now kind of makes me wonder if my speculations or true or not and this guy wants to run so i'm gonna go ahead and put these back and i'll return you back to my past self look at this i am so so happy to be holding this one right now and it's just i'm just so like proud i guess that i was able to produce this um this is the cypress enchi pied now, from the previous clutch, we did produce black pastel cypress het pieds and black pastel cypress pieds. So this is a another combination with cypress, and that's with the use of enchi. And I know for sure that this is not just a normal pied, and it cannot be just a enchi pied. And the only other um, gene in here is cypress. So because uh, I'm kind of using my process of elimination here, uh, because it can't be a normal pied, because it can't be an enchi pied, it has to be the cypress enchi pied. Um, I, I produced enchi pies before and they are nowhere near as bright as this. So I'm trying to be a little careful here. Like I said, they did all just eat today. Um, it would be the first meal for this one second meal for some of the other ones that I showed you and just look at how beautiful come on focus there we go beautiful look at how bright the colors are again no outline where the white and the oranges meet up um, of course the pattern is very different here the enchi kind of makes it blocky makes it blurry um, the, the camera's not really picking it up here, but and she kind of adds some where there where there would be blacks and grays. It kind of makes them a little bit lighter, and instead of the grays, you kind of get like this purpley greenish tone to it. Uh, very very nice, and the fact that there's cypress just kind of accentuates and elevates that greenish and purplish tone. Um, you see a lot more purple if this was let's say. Um, with with yellow belly and orange dream but uh, we don't have those two in this pairing we just have the enchi and, and cypress so it's really elevating a lot of that greenish tone that comes in so like right there you can see a lot of greens and it's just really really just a phenomenal animal i'm gonna put this one back all right, Royal, so that was the clutch update, and I think we got pretty good results. That last one, the Enchi Cypress Pied, was just 
fantastic. That about wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel and you want to be informed of future uploads, make sure you're subscribed and ring that notification bell. As always, thanks for watching. Please share and remember, rules for life. Peace out.